It was almost seven years ago. That wow. being a life-changing moment because I was that person who was like, wait a second, are you about to put white powder on my face? Like yeah, I'm already like, one no. shade past clear. You were like, not happening, yeah. right? And I think so many of us have had that initial reaction with a powder. But this is actually not going to give you any color at all. What this is going to do is give you the purest dose of Amazonian clay that you can find. So it's balancing your skin. But you'll look at my skin right now. So my skin is not necessarily dewy, right? But I wouldn't call this matte either. But I'm somebody that really likes like uh, a semi-matte set finish. You like so, healthy. Right. So that's what this is going to do. And this is that finishing step. You'll notice that you're not even really seeing this. Okay. But like the primer, it's that step that locks the makeup in place. I'm somebody that has combination skin. So I get oily in my T-zone here, but then my skin tends to be drier on the cheeks, right? What this does is it locks everything in place. Notice this is not changing the color of my skin. And the thing about this too, Courtney, that actually I think is some, something that Jen, who you'll see in a few minutes, actually taught me. This is such an important step when you're done with your foundation and your concealer because when you apply any bronzer or contour or blush on top of it, it gives the perfect canvas for this to adhere to. It's not wet or liquid. So your foundation can sometimes be like liquid, right? So you right. want to put, you want to set and lock all your, your foundation and your concealer in place before you then go ahead and apply your highlighter or your blush or your contour, which are all the steps that we're going to, you know, come next to finish out. Is that a fan brush? Because I'm fangirling over this right I now. I have a fan brush right here. Like which, one do, which one do you use? This comes right in the compact. And <gasps> I keep this with yes. me all the time because really, you know, if I'm having a long day where, you know, I get up, early going to the city and if I'm coming home and mm -hmm. this is actually a perfect occasion I'd be meeting my husband for dinner I would whip this out mat down my Kinda skin reset reset exactly that's such a way to put this it just resets everything evens out the complexion and a, a great tip about this too is that you can actually use this my eyeshadow is already done for purposes of the demonstration tonight but you can use this as a great shadow primer so you can put this on before you put your eyeshadow on oh. and it's actually a great way to create um, a really even canvas and an even texture to then go ahead and put your shadow on top of. I am so glad that you mentioned that. I'm almost a seven year user of the Smooth Operator Finishing Powder line and I don't think I've ever put that on as an eyeshadow before. And the other thing that I want to call out for you tonight is if you're interested in ordering this, go to beautyiq.com. The great thing about this is um, while you have that brush included, if, Lee, I, I defer to you on this one, with the beauty blenders of the world, with the sponges and whatnot, do you ever press something like this in or does it always need to be with a brush? You definitely can, that's gonna be up to you. Okay. But this is not a setting powder, so I do wanna make that clear. So this is not something that you would use to bake under the eyes. This, are a, this Right, so this is a finishing powder, not a setting powder. The difference is a setting powder would be baking under the eyes, right? And that's typically where you would use the sponge. This is a finishing powder. So this finishes off the look, creates a perfect, even, smooth canvas. Um, so you could use a sponge if you would like to, but my recommend, recommendation would be definitely stick with the brush. Well, I am not a habitual line stepper, so I will just do what you tell me to do, which is why I love that we are <laughs> friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just learned how to set the mood. We, of course, had the flawless primer. We had the Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, which is kind of this two-in-one miracle worker. We had the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, which is awesome because you saw Lee. It totally yeah. just added that piece of hydration. And then, of course, we finished up with the Smooth Operator Pressed Finishing Powder. So we're going to see how this all came together, how Mrs. Griffin set the mood. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hmm. Guys, don't I... linger. Don't linger. Yeah, don't linger. That's not <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm always like, am I so pale in that? Look at you, Lee. I prefer <gasps> this complexion. And you know what, Courtney? This is the complexion that I feel the best, like the best version of myself in, you know? Yes. It's just a couple of easy steps. And again, this is something you and I, as girlfriends, talk about all the time. When so our complexion true. looks good, we feel good. It's just the most incredible confidence booster when your complexion looks and feels its best. And the beautiful thing is, I know I'm doing something good for my skin. I don't have to worry about, am I gonna break out because of this? Am I, gonna, am I going right. to react because of it, you know? I feel like when I have a nice complexion, I lost five pounds, which right. means I can have a martini or wine or, with dessert. Yeah, or two. Or, or both. Cake. Yes. All of that. So we're gonna take a quick break. Coming up next, the idea of creating dimension, I absolutely love because with all of the amazing color that we see,